Hey everybody, Shane here from Junk Music, and today I'm going to show you how I took the slab of scrap wood that I put together in the last video, and I turned it into this in preparation for the junk base build. Now the first thing that we're going to do is trace out the template and get it ready for the band sawing. It doesn't have to be super accurate at this point since we're going to band saw about a quarter inch outside of that line to make sure we've got room to do all the flush cut routing and everything later. I realized while I was working on this particular bit that one of my next projects is going to have to be building a stand for my bandsaw so I don't have to compete for space with this cabinet over on the corner here. And then that's the rough cut body. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna tape that template back on. Uh, in my case today, I didn't have a less harsh double-sided tape. The foam sticky tape I had had a pretty harsh adhesive on it. So I put blue tape on the pattern as well as the body. And then I used the double-sided tape to stick those two together. So now the blue tape is the only thing touching my reusable surfaces here. Uh, held down pretty good. And then we're going to grab a nice fresh pattern routing bit here and we're going to start doing the first pass of trimming the body back. Uh, here we're using the template itself to cut it down to the exact size, but then we're going to take a second and a third pass that are going to use the previous pass as its template. So we're able to take the the template off for those. Uh, after that, since I didn't want to cut into my table or come up with a, a system to raise up the body, I flipped it over and I used a flush trim bit to do this final pass to flush the body out. And then at this point, uh, the slab is still a little bit thicker than I need it to be for the final body, so I marked where I need to get it down to, and then I took it back to the router sled, and I did a few more passes until it got to where it needed to be. After it was uh, all flush cut, after it was brought down to thickness, the next step was to hit it with a roundover bit. I took a quarter inch roundover bit all the way around the front and the back. Uh, I did have to make a few adjustments and made a couple of mistakes here. Most of them are gonna sand out though. Next was making the neck pocket template. Now, all that I did in this instance was I took a piece of plywood, I took the neck that I was putting in place, and I traced it onto that plywood, and I cut it on the bandsaw and then used a file to bring it down as close as I possibly could to the exact dimensions. And once the neck fit comfortably in that template, I uh, used double-sided tape to stick it onto the body and routed the neck pocket. Now, the mistake I made here was once I got that first pass done, I did like I did with the body. I took off the template and tried to use the neck pocket as its own template. In this case, there was not enough material around to support the router properly, and I didn't get the cleanest cut, so that's something that I will change in the future. Uh, but it came out overall pretty good. Uh, and then I checked the pocket height by placing the neck in it, using some pickguard material, to check to make sure I had room for the pick guard that I'll be placing underneath it. And with the neck pocket done, I put the neck in place, bolted in place, neck plate and all, and I took a little bit of twine to help line up the bridge and screwed that in place so that I could start lining up everything for uh, routing the pickup and the control cavities and all that. Now I didn't catch video of myself routing out the control cavity, but really all I did was trace the pick guard and used that as a reference for placement on that. Uh, the next several steps in this process are going to be to sand the body, do a stain and finish coat on it, and then do a final assembly. So I plan on doing that in two separate videos, and when they come out, I will place cards around here somewhere so that you can follow the trail. In the meantime, uh, stick around, subscribe if you want to see some more of this content. Hopefully we'll be seeing you around.